If you've ever tied mono to spectra connections, like this Albright knot here, you know that when you try to cinch down on that knot, that spectra, if you're not careful, will dig into your skin and might even cut you. And that's especially true if you've been fishing all day and your hands are kind of wet and soft. Usually, at a minimum, it's kind of painful to pull on that knot, and then there's always the chance that it, that it cuts through you. I know that's happened to me a couple of times. So, to solve that problem, I designed these tools. I just call them knot pullers. It's a uh, black grip-like material that's on a couple of rods. They're held together magnetically, um, so you can put them on the table and they won't uh, roll around on you because they are circular. And um, here's how I use them. Basically, I'll take the main line and tag end of some 40 pound Iserline XXX monofilament and I'll just wrap it around the rod three to five times. You just have to be careful that you don't wrap the line over itself. Just spiral it up there. And do the same thing with the Spectra main line tag end. And this here is Jerry Brown 65 pound solid Spectra. Now you've got it wrapped around the rods and just you got your knot there in the middle. Hopefully you can see it. And just Pull in opposite directions. Now I actually had this one already cinched down, uh, but this illustrates the point. You make your knot, uh, you don't fully cinch it by hand, but you work it by hand to get it in the right place, and then you can just um, pull on it and tighten down on it. And I didn't feel anything. Uh, that was easy on my hand. If I look at the Spectra, it's nice and smooth. The rod didn't do anything to it. And on the monofilament side, it's smooth too. It's still pretty limp. Uh, there's no kinks to it, no burn marks, um, no nick marks from the rod, things like that. So it makes a pretty good knot, and again, it just saves my hands from a lot of uh, pain and the chance of getting cut by it. Now, you can imagine that these tools could probably be used for making your sadocrimp connections or serve connection between your fluorocarbon monofilament and your holocore spectra, because those knots get pulled on pretty hard with the spectra as well. Same thing with an FG knot, an RP knot, or any of the variety of the Albright knots that are out there are pretty popular. So I think it has a couple of uses outside just your standard uh, mono to fluoro connections. Now I made one little change with some of the rods and I actually put a through hole through them that's drilled straight through. And on this one I have a 2 watt uh, Mustad 94150 J-hook, real cheap, we use them here on the west coast all the time. And um, you know you can tie these with your pliers, but you can also pass that hook through the hole, and um, you know it just gives you another way to tighten it. You can you know, tighten it by hand. You can wrap that line again around the dowel and pull on it that way. So it fits a two odd hook. Uh, the other thing it fits is up to a six odd. This is an Owner Super Mutu Circle Hook ringed, and I've got some 80 pound. Uh, I think this is monofilament on it. And that hook goes right there through the hole, through hole. It's a pretty big hook. And, you know, I find tying 80 pounds with my bare hands to be pretty tough on myself, too. And I'm not sure that I, that I really cinch down those knots properly all the time. So with this, I can just, again, wrap this around anywhere between three and five times. And I get my hands around the rod and obviously away from the pointed end of the hook. And I can cinch down on that one real good. Um, quite a bit harder than I could do with my hands. And again, the monofilament isn't kinked. It doesn't have nick, nar, nick marks on it. It's not um, burnt in by the rod or anything like that. So that works pretty well. And even the rod itself is in still great shape. You'll see line marks as it presses into it, but th that's really it. This will stand up to a lot of abuse and pressure. And you can do a lot of knots with these. So I actually made three varieties of them. The first one I was showing you guys here was just this uh, simple one with the two rods and, and the end caps. The second one uh, that you haven't seen yet is one where I actually put a light into it. It's just a push button on off switch. It should stay lit, it lit for about uh, 80 to 100 hours. So plenty long enough for most folks. Again, these are magnetically held together as well. And uh, you know, if you're on your day and a half trip and you're waking up early or going to bed late at night and you need to see what's going on down there in the bunk room, um, you have a little bit of a light on you and it kind of makes it two tools in one. And then the last one that you saw again is, is the rods with the light on it and then this variety has the through hole uh, drilled into it. So, you know, we have three different varieties and 
Um, I'm not sure which are most popular with folks, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, one of the other questions I get pretty often is, does these tools actually help you tie a tighter knot, a stronger knot? And my answer to that is, after tying and testing more than 100 knots, is that in general these didn't make my knots stronger. Uh, they certainly didn't make any of my knots weaker, I can tell you that. It didn't make for weaker knots. Uh, but in general they were comparable. The strength was comparable to hand tied knots and I have a separate video on that that you can check out as well. Now there was one exception to that and that was 30 pound Seagauer, um, 30 pound fluorocarbon to monofilament connection using the Seagauer knot where that knot when I tied it with my tools was actually five pounds stronger than it was when I tied it by hand. And that was one particular knot for me that stood out that benefited um, with the tool. I think I'm just able to cinch down that Seagauer knot more symmetrically probably because I can pull a little bit harder on it with this tool than I could with my hands. Um, so it helped me with that knot. I'm not sure if it would help you with that knot uh, yourself, but it may help you with one other knot that you tie often. Um, but for sure it doesn't make your knots weaker and it definitely does save your hands against uh, pulling on the spectra. So I'm not sure, again, which of these uh, three varieties with the light or without the light and the through hole or, or without the through hole that people uh, would like the most, but if you're out there and if you're willing to do uh, a product review for one of these, I'm more than happy to send you one of them free of charge. Uh, just contact me here through YouTube and I'll set that up. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video.